Ever wonder why your twin flame, the elusive runner, seems so reluctant to make that initial contact? It's a question that's been baffling spiritual seekers for ages, and today, we're going to unravel this enigma. Twin flames, in essence, are two halves of the same soul, separated and placed into two physical bodies. It's a powerful, intense, and often tumultuous relationship, marked by a deep spiritual connection and a profound sense of familiarity. Yet, in this dance of souls, there's often a runner and a chaser. The runner-chaser dynamic is a complex aspect of the twin-flame relationship. It's a cosmic game of hide-and-seek, where one twin, the runner, retreats, and the other, the chaser, pursues. The runner, in this dance, is the one who seems to be constantly on the move, shying away from the intensity of the connection, often leaving the chaser in a state of confusion and longing. The real mystery lies in the runner's reluctance to initiate contact. They feel the same intense connection, the same pull towards their twin flame as the chaser does. They are drawn to their twin flame just as strongly, yet they resist, they run, they avoid making that first move. Why do they do it? What could possibly compel someone to run from a connection that's so profound, so intense and so life-altering? It's a question that has sparked curiosity, frustration and even despair in many a twin flame chaser. Could it be fear? Could it be a sense of unworthiness? Or could it be something else entirely? These questions, and many more like them, have been asked by countless twin flame chasers, desperate to understand the elusive runner. But fear not, for we're here to explore this puzzle, to delve deep into the psyche of the twin flame runner, and to shed some light on the reasons why a twin flame runner might not initiate contact. So buckle up, for we're about to embark on a journey of discovery and understanding. Stay tuned as we delve into the reasons why a twin flame runner might not initiate contact. This journey is sure to be enlightening, illuminating, and perhaps even healing. To understand why a twin flame runner might not initiate contact, we first need to understand who they are. Twin flame runners are part of a unique spiritual connection, a mirror soul, if you will, who reflect the deepest parts of another's soul. However, they are also defined by certain characteristics, which can make the twin flame journey a challenging one. A prominent characteristic of a twin flame runner is their fear of intimacy. They often find the deep connection that comes with a twin flame relationship to be overwhelming. This fear is not merely about physical closeness, but extends to emotional and spiritual intimacy as well. They are scared of the vulnerability that comes with opening up their innermost self to another person, even if that person is their mirror soul. Another key trait of twin flame runners is emotional unavailability. It's not that they lack emotions. On the contrary, they feel emotions deeply. However, they struggle to express these emotions, especially those associated with love and attachment. They might seem distant or detached, but this is often a defense mechanism to protect themselves from the intense emotional connection they share with their twin flame. The third defining characteristic of a twin flame runner is their tendency to withdraw or pull away from their twin flame. This is often a response to the intense energy that comes with the twin flame connection. They might disappear without a word, leaving their twin flame confused and hurt. This withdrawal, however, is not about rejection. It's more about self-preservation, an instinctive response to the overwhelming feelings and energies they experience. So when we talk about twin flame runners, we're talking about individuals who are grappling with profound fears and emotions, they are individuals who are overwhelmed by the intensity of the twin flame connection, unable to handle the vulnerability it demands, and struggling to express their deep-seated emotions. Knowing this helps us understand their reluctance to make the first move. Fear of intimacy is a common trait among twin flame runners, but why? Let's delve into the depths of this fear, a fear that often acts as a barrier, stopping these individuals from initiating contact. It's a complex issue, multifaceted, and goes beyond the surface-level apprehension of simply getting close to someone. One significant reason for a twin flame runner's fear of intimacy could be past traumas. Emotional wounds inflicted in the past can leave scars that make it difficult for them to open up to anyone, even their twin flame. They may have experienced events that caused them deep emotional pain, 
and their instinctual response is to protect themselves from reliving that pain. Then, there's the fear of rejection. The thought of opening up, of being vulnerable, only to be rejected, can be a terrifying prospect. This fear can be so strong that it becomes an insurmountable obstacle, preventing them from reaching out to their twin flame. Another potential reason is the fear of losing their independence. For some, intimacy equates to a loss of freedom. They fear that letting someone in so deeply would mean giving up their autonomy, their sense of self. The thought of becoming one with their twin flame might seem like an annihilation of their individuality. It's important to note that these reasons are not excuses for the twin flame runner's behavior, but rather explanations. Understanding these fears can help us comprehend the actions of the twin flame runner and perhaps provide some comfort to the twin flame chaser. Remember, the journey of twin flames is not a straightforward path. It's a complex dance of the soul filled with trials and tribulations with the ultimate goal of achieving a profound spiritual connection. So, when we ask why a twin flame runner doesn't initiate contact, the answer often lies in their fear of intimacy. This fear, whether it stems from past traumas, fear of rejection, or fear of losing their independence, often keeps them from reaching out and initiating contact. Another reason a twin flame runner might not initiate contact is emotional unavailability. Let's delve into this concept a bit. Emotional unavailability is a state where a person is unwilling or unable to be vulnerable with their feelings. It's like an invisible wall that prevents them from forming deep emotional connections. This wall is often built from past traumas or unresolved emotional issues. It's a protective mechanism to avoid getting hurt, but it can also become a roadblock to meaningful relationships. Imagine a garden. If the soil is healthy and fertile, it can support a vibrant array of plant life. But if the soil is poor and barren, it's hard for anything to grow. The same is true for our emotional landscapes. If we're emotionally available, we're like fertile soil, ready to nurture deep connections. But if we're emotionally unavailable, we're like barren soil, unable to support the growth of meaningful relationships. For a twin flame runner, their emotional unavailability can be like a fortress. It can be so formidable that they may not even realize it's there. They might feel a deep connection to their twin flame, but this wall prevents them from acknowledging it or reaching out. This emotional unavailability often stems from unresolved emotional issues. Perhaps they've been hurt in the past and are afraid of being hurt again. Maybe they've grown up in a family where emotions were not openly expressed and so they've learned to keep their feelings to themselves. Whatever the reason, these unresolved issues can make the runner hesitant to form deep emotional connections, including with their twin flame. The tricky thing about emotional unavailability is that it's not just about the fear of getting hurt, it's also about the fear of being truly seen. To be emotionally available means to be vulnerable, to be open to let someone else see into the depths of your soul. And that can be terrifying, especially if you're not used to it. So it's not that the twin flame runner doesn't care or doesn't feel the connection. It's that their emotional barriers, their fear of vulnerability, deter them from initiating contact. They're like a castle with a drawbridge up, keeping everyone, including their twin flame, at a safe distance. Their emotional barriers can deter them from initiating contact with their twin flame. Fear of change can be a powerful deterrent for twin flame runners. It's a phenomenon that's as universal as it is personal. Change is the one constant in life that we can all count on, and yet, it's something that often instills a sense of fear and anxiety in us. Now, imagine the magnitude of change that comes with recognizing and embracing your twin flame. The connection between twin flames is intense, unique, and unlike anything else. It's like finding a mirror to your soul, a reflection of yourself that is so profound it can shake the very foundations of your existence. This connection isn't just about love or romance. It's about spiritual growth, personal development, and a path towards achieving inner wholeness. As beautiful as this journey may sound, it's also fraught with significant life changes that can be overwhelming and intimidating. For the twin flame runner, 
these changes can be downright terrifying. They might find themselves questioning their beliefs, their values, their lifestyle, and even their identity. It's a process that requires them to confront their deepest fears, their insecurities, and their past wounds. It's a process that demands them to grow and evolve in ways they might not be ready for. This fear of change can manifest in various ways. It can be a fear of losing their autonomy or their sense of self. It can be a fear of the unknown, of stepping out of their comfort zone. It can be a fear of vulnerability, of opening up their heart and soul to someone else. For some, the fear of change can be so overwhelming that they choose to run from their twin flame, to distance themselves from this intense connection. They might convince themselves that they're not ready for this journey, that they're not worthy of this love. And this fear, this uncertainty, can make them hesitant to reach out and initiate contact. Remember, fear is a natural response to change. It's a protective mechanism that keeps us safe from potential harm, but it can also hold us back from embracing new experiences, from growing and evolving. For the twin flame runner, overcoming this fear of change is a crucial step towards embracing their twin flame journey, towards acknowledging and accepting this profound connection. Their fear of change can make them hesitant to reach out and initiate contact. Sometimes, a twin flame runner is simply not ready for the twin flame journey. This is a common reason why some twin flames don't initiate contact. The twin flame journey is not a casual stroll in the park, it's a spiritual marathon, a profound journey of self-discovery, healing, and growth that requires a certain level of readiness both emotionally and spiritually. Let's think about it for a moment. The twin flame journey is a path that leads us to face our deepest fears, insecurities, and past traumas. It's about embracing vulnerability, opening up to unconditional love, and evolving into our highest selves. It's a process that compels us to shatter our illusions and confront our shadows, to break down our walls and surrender to the transformative power of love. Now, not everyone is ready to embark on such an intense journey. Some may not yet possess the emotional and spiritual maturity needed to navigate the tumultuous waters of the twin flame connection. They may not be prepared to face their inner demons, to delve deep into their souls, to strip away their ego and bear their true essence. In the face of such a demanding journey, it's understandable that some twin flames may feel overwhelmed, intimidated, or simply unprepared. They may not be ready to undertake the profound inner work that the twin flame journey entails. They may not feel equipped to handle the intensity of the twin flame connection, the emotional upheaval it can trigger, or the profound transformations it can bring about. This unreadiness is not a character flaw. It's simply a stage in their personal growth. It doesn't mean they are less evolved or less worthy. It simply means they have their own pace and their own path to follow. Their soul might need more time to grow, to heal, to gather the courage and the strength needed for such a profound journey. In the end, every soul has its own timing, and we must respect that. We must remember that the twin flame journey is not a race, but a pilgrimage of the soul, a sacred dance of two flames coming together in divine timing. Their unreadiness for this journey can cause them to refrain from initiating contact. So. We've discussed several reasons why a twin flame runner might not initiate contact. Let's take a moment to pull back the curtain and summarize the main reasons that we've explored. This will help us create a comprehensive understanding of the mindset of a twin flame runner. First, we delved into the fear of intimacy. This fear is often rooted in past experiences or traumas that make the runner hesitant to form deep connections. The intensity of the twin flame relationship can be overwhelming, causing them to retreat into their shell and avoid initiating contact. Next, we looked at the concept of emotional unavailability. Some twin flame runners might not be in a place where they can fully engage with their emotions. This could be due to a variety of reasons such as personal struggles, mental health issues, or even the fear of vulnerability. Then we addressed the fear of change that can act as a roadblock. The twin flame journey is transformative and requires both parties to evolve and grow. 
But change can be scary, and this fear can cause the runner to resist the connection and avoid reaching out. Lastly, we discuss the idea of unreadiness for the twin flame journey. The twin flame journey is a profound spiritual experience that demands a high level of emotional and spiritual maturity. Some runners might simply not be ready to embark on this journey, leading them to keep their distance. Each of these reasons reflects a different facet of the twin flame runner's mindset. It's important to remember that everyone's journey is unique, and these reasons may not apply to all situations. However, understanding these common reasons can provide valuable insight into the runner's behavior and help us navigate our own twin flame journey with more patience and understanding. Remember, every journey has its ups and downs, and the twin flame journey is no exception. It's about growth, transformation, and ultimately, love. Let's approach it with empathy, patience, and a willingness to understand. Understanding these reasons can help us empathize with the runner and navigate our own twin flame journey with more patience and understanding. Knowing why a twin flame runner might not initiate contact is one thing, but how do we cope with it? Well, let's dive into some practical tips that can help us navigate this challenging terrain. First and foremost, focus on personal growth. The twin flame journey is not just about union with another, but it's also a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. Use this time apart to work on yourself, to find your own inner peace, and to grow into the person you aspire to be. Remember the saying, what you seek is seeking you. Apply it here. As you evolve, your energy shifts, creating a ripple effect that reaches your twin flame wherever they are. So keep growing, keep glowing, and trust the process. Secondly, practice patience. Yes, I know it's easier said than done, especially when your heart yearns for your twin flame. But understand this. Everything happens in divine timing. Your twin flame will come around when they are ready, not a moment sooner or later. Patience, my friends, is not just about waiting. It's about how you behave while waiting. So let go of any desperation, any urge to control the situation. Instead, allow the universe to work its magic. Lastly, maintain a positive mindset. It's all too easy to spiral into negative thoughts, to question your worth, or to doubt the journey altogether. But remember, your thoughts shape your reality. So, keep your thoughts positive, your intentions pure, and your faith unwavering. Visualize your reunion with your twin flame. Feel the joy, the love, the completeness that it brings. Hold on to that feeling and let it guide you through the tough times. In the end, coping with a twin flame runner is a test of your strength, your patience, and your faith. It's a journey that calls for inner growth, unconditional love, and unwavering belief in the divine plan. Remember, every twin flame journey is unique and patience is key. In conclusion, twin flame runners' reluctance to initiate contact can be attributed to a number of factors. We've delved deep into the world of twin flame runners, exploring the reasons why they may not initiate contact. Their actions, or lack thereof, are often driven by fears, insecurities, and a myriad of personal challenges. We've learned that fear of intimacy is one of the primary reasons. This fear is often rooted in past experiences and traumas that make the prospect of such a deep connection feel threatening. It's not that they don't want the connection, but rather, they fear the vulnerability that comes with it. Another key reason is emotional unavailability. For some, this may be a temporary state due to current circumstances. For others, it may be a more long-standing issue. This emotional unavailability can create a barrier, preventing them from fully opening up to their twin flame. Then we have the fear of change. Embracing a twin flame connection means embarking on a transformative journey. This journey often requires significant changes in one's life changes that can feel overwhelming and scary to a twin flame runner. And lastly, some twin flame runners are simply not ready for the twin flame journey. This journey is intense, demanding, and requires a high level of emotional maturity. Some individuals may not be at a point in their life where they are ready to embark on such a journey. These reasons are not excuses, but explanations that can help us better understand the behaviors of twin flame runners. 
It's important to remember that everyone is on their own unique journey and we all progress at our own pace. Patience, understanding and compassion are essential when dealing with a twin flame runner. Recognize their struggles, offer them space, and remember that this journey is as much about personal growth as it is about union. Understanding these reasons can help us approach our twin flame journey with more compassion, patience, and understanding. We hope this video has given you some insights into why a twin flame runner might not initiate contact. But remember, this journey is as unique as the individuals involved. We're all learning, growing, and navigating our own paths. So we're curious to hear from you. Have you ever been a twin flame runner? Have you been on the receiving end of this behavior? What was your experience like? Do you have any insights or advice that could be helpful to others? Feel free to share your thoughts, experiences, or any queries you might have in the comment section below. Let's make this a space for open, respectful, and enlightening conversation. Remember, your voice matters. And who knows, your story might just be the beacon of hope or the guiding light someone out there needs. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos on Twin Flames and other spiritual topics.